Yeah, he's been pretty Change silent. Change the player, yeah, yeah. Maybe he just said Magnus, and that's it. No, but like for all... Does not want to discuss it. For <laughs> yeah, it's like, give me that. And it, wait, hey, wait, wait, it is a no, my, my JT! Magnus. Really convincing overall. I think this is, for me right now, in my power rankings, the best carry in the patch. Um, and yeah, it, it's entirely possible that she gets bumped up. Let's see, Bobo kept five stacks of wow. Shadow Poison. See that you later. That is a lot of damage. Oh, and Celery's actually going to live. Yeah, that's surprising as well. So. Good first blood for Gaiman. I mean, Pango this is can combine with that very well for a potential tower dive. Uh oh, top lane. Then LSA. It'll be fine, but yeah. the pressure on to JT here. JT was. Oh, but you're trying to turn things around. Nothing to say. He's going to pop his rolling thunder. We'll connect onto Celery. Baboka makes his way over as well with the Centaur Stomp. That is, well, it almost was a perma stunt, but regardless, they get the kill onto oh, oh, oh. Celery. So there is that. Yep, definitely off to a good start. Looking at a fast Mage Slayer. Um, Burrow Strike. We'll find Monet, level five right now on the Luna. Baboka gonna force Quinn back, although we have a Fiend's Gate coming in. Is he gonna cancel that? He did. Indeed he did. Nothing to say. Gonna spot a couple more towards the river here from Gaming Gladiator's side. As Quinn taking some creeps, Arrow's not really gonna hit. Nice block from Baboka. Stacks on Baboka from that Shadow Poison. That's gonna do a lot of damage with the Star Storm on top. That is actually enough. Celery gets credit for that one, LSA. Does clip JT, but no kill to come. And of course, oh, this you see is the stack big on moment. these ancients. Yeah, gaming gliders. This is a very planned out move. They know the stacks are there. They really want to contest them and use the Sand King Underlord power right now. But with Underlord not connecting, he actually can't make it back yeah, here oh. now. RP, RP skewer, skewer back into the tier one. Duraccio, LSA is going to hit, but there comes nothing to say on the Pangolier, and that'll bring the Lena to her knees. And it looks like Tofu will possibly nice be next. Snowball. Has the last leap usage. Snowball does connect, so that's two kills going the way of G2IG in defense of their triangle. Yeah, and they didn't even lose many Ancients. These Ancients actually just softened up now, so they uh, can just go and Somehow that became really uninteresting. Usually I'm really into that, so... <laughs> yeah. Monet... Getting worse in my old age. Out here. Yeah, this is a big moment to Quinn. dodge, but... Okay, we got the Burrow Strike, looking for the arrow oh, set up, but X Nova takes it. Nice pit of Malice, though. The Eclipse comes through. Trying to dissuade them from coming any further. Tofu taking quite a bit of damage. RP onto two heroes. Nothing to say with the Swashbuckle and his ult onto three. He's going to use the roll up as well as Ace. He's a bit isolated. The Gleipnir is going to connect on three here in the meantime for Duraccio. And now the aggression from Gaming Gladiators continues. They get two kills on two cores. Epicenter to follow from Quinn. Nothing to say. Not going to have much to say after this. That is for damn sure. Although he is pretty tanky with that shield crash. And the Drinking Buddy's giving a lot of extra moves to me, but a double Burrow Strike from Quinn, and the damage is just unbelievable from Gaming Gladiators. Triple kill for Ace, and this is going to be a full team wipe at the 17 minute mark. Wow! Ultra kill for Ace. And they're going to get a tier 1 to boot. Somehow, out of nowhere, they just blow this game wide open. Find multiple, multiple kills. The tricky part is, with that big teamfight victory, the Underlord pipe is not that far away, and that's going to swing things in a big way. Well, they're going to try a skewer this time. Yeah, onto a tanky target. Ace already at half HP, but here comes a counter initiation from Quinn, showing off that Bloodstone. There's a Pit of Malice onto the two supports of G2IG. It will likely fall very shortly here. Age is still intact as Dorachi just right clicks JT casually. Nothing to say. Oh, just in time with that disruption to cancel the TP. And again, it's been nine kills in a row, if I'm not mistaken, on yep. the Gaming Gladiator's side. And the tower, and this was just a full on deliberate bait from Ace. He gets caught. He puts it's down definitely hard times incoming now for the side of G2IG. But I do think the mindset here should be we we should look for a fight. I think if you keep giving gaming the map control, you're just kind of digging your own grave. Oh, he's actually going to for say. it. Epicenter with the follow-up stun from the Marana. Nothing to say. Gets off the roll-up into the Rolling Thunder. Looks like he's going to be fine, actually. And Quinn's going to take a fully clip, but there's a disruption from Celery to save him. But the RP on the three heroes with a huge skewer to follow. Do they have the damage to follow it up? Duracho is actually standing his ground. Remember, he still has the Aegis. And after all of that, they get four kills on game inside, and all they lose is the Aegis, and it will likely just be a full team wipe again. Tofu does die, so finally a kill for G2IG, but my goodness, this escalated quickly. Yep, as we said 10 minutes ago, this one is not going to be sub 30. <laughs> um, but then, I guess, then everything just went right for one team and wrong for the other, and here we are. It happens. Uh, 
I think seven minutes ago this was dead even in network. That's how I remember it. So Gaiman have effectively gained 2,000 gold per minute over the enemy team. And they're getting two lanes of Rex. They just hit critical mass. They got two tanky. Will they get two? I mean, the, it's so early that the respawn timers I are don't very know fast. If G2IG can defend without RP. Just walk around with the Sandstorm Dust Devil and just keep farming. Oh, RP onto Duraccio, but the disruption. Will it be enough to save him, though? He's surrounded by enemies right now. Ace with the Pit of Alice from the side. Duraccio trying to run away, slow to a crawl. He's going to use Laguna Blade. Oh! There's the Epicenter from Quinn, All right. destroying everybody from G2IG. And that's it. That's game one in the books. Game and Gladiators slap around Jack Chen, and they win game one. Ah, 25 minutes exactly, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, it's just so weird when you watch other teams. I mean, I know Liquid's pretty fast too, but a lot of these games are like, you know, it's gonna last around 40 minutes generally. But it fixes the Alk problem because Alk likes playing against only single hero, and uh, I talk about filthy players and picks <laughs> and whatnot. They go for a Viper. So if you want to flex a Razor to mid or a Psyking to mid, you're uh, Before it. the game starts, that's your objective for next time. Appreciate <laughs> you as always. <laughs> you did it. Uh -oh. oh, but this is uh -oh. like your first blood. It might be Concoction. Will Duraccio uh, with first blood on an Alchemist? A really good core to core oh. matchup. That could be justifiable. All Quinn's in trouble, by the way. Yep. X Nova making his way over. Disruption's there. TP is going to be okay. Toku actually eats the arrow, and they turn it around with nothing to say, despite it being a two versus three. That Sniper very strong. That is such an insane TP. Shrapnel, I... to yet another kill. <laughs> I don't even understand what we just witnessed here. I just trading I there at best. And now you just got a 2-0. Oh, Celery will immediately be hounded by the TPing nothing to say out of his death. And that's an easy kill. Oh, the game. Ogre does a lot of damage to the Luna, though. So. For a 25-minute timing with their greedy heroes. They just need to get a couple of key items that these naturally will build into with their Midas slash Radiances. As Luna will be oh assassinated, boy. that's a TP yep. cancel. They don't have a lot of, uh, I would call, normal CC-type stuns, but they do have the mini stuns, I always stuns, get those right? mixed they up in names. But so, at what point do you think you actually sell this Midas? As Assassinate onto X Nova, Quinn, very fast. Yep, Haste will do and that. And eventually will find this kill, surely. There we go. Also does have Boots of Travel, by so the way. a little bit of so. a build-up. Oh, G2IG, they have gone through the gate. They are smoked. Quinn is going to be the this first one they has to run burn. into. He's actually broken from the creeps, trying to get to the high ground. Arrow connects with the Static Storm. JT will actually use the Epicenter. They'll get the kill. Kind of awkward as he made it to the high ground in the end. As Ace drops in with the Doom on top of the Razor, is just going to stand his ground right now. X Nova is going to be the first to fall for G2IG, but already three members of Gaiman deleted from the face of the map as Duraccio now on the run. Along with Ace, the oh, nice. arrow does arrow. hit him right in the ass. And nothing to say and come. Okay, they're going to miss the Burrow Strike. As Duracher is going to have to use no, it. No, could deny himself. Deny. Oh, he will. My God. Wow. Symphony of fails right there. My such goodness. a sick arrow into such an underwhelming follow up. <laughs> Baboka has to be livid. That is unfortunate. Man. And yeah, as you said, no casualties except the Aegis and a Tier 2 Tower, which. All in all, I think it's okay for both teams, really. Uh, wonder if Gaiman will be able to siege any further now. Oh, Boboka is in a very interesting Yep, position he here. leaps right into Tofu. Nice grenade. That was his last leap as well, so he gets eviscerated. Valuable mm -hmm. in the right circumstance to block. Maybe they're not considering it too much because of Sniper. Just being able to proc it from mega long range is, is a bit of an issue. We've been uh, seeing some backpacking of Lincolns this tournament. That's true. They could backpack it if they're clutch. This is such this this movement. Uh oh, oh celery. celery. I don't think he's gonna get out of this. Although Mr. Quinn is TPing on oh, the, the He actually gets in the Viper Strike upon the Sand King. Celery does die. As Quinn using the Hurricane Pike as the rest of his team connects. Duraccio beating down X Nova. It's gonna be a one to one to start this fight. Nothing to say is BKB has now dissipated as he runs away. JT. Looks like they're not going to focus on him too much, although now they're going to wrap around. And, oh, Duraccio actually blinks away with the Concoction, looking for the more value kill. And there's nothing to say, but he mantles off the Concoction as Monet gets off the Eclipse, but there's a lot of BKB, so not a ton of damage. And now the Doom applied to the Luna, who just TPs back to base, will be able to live through it. Everybody is so damn tanky, man. Yep. 1,000 gold every two minutes. Are Gaiman actually gaining, or is it even when they have Doom and Alk? Right? right, like it's kind of going according to expectations. So, 
Well, at a certain point, uh -oh. Lula just farms fast. Baraccio. No okay. BKB. Baraccio. Yeah, he's dead. Plain and simple. Now that is a big kill. And it goes to Monet. He got the demon's number in gold, the number of the beast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that kill was worth a lot of work <laughs> on that, that hero in particular. It makes it a little bit less appealing to stay there. And if you asked him, I'm sure he would consider that one just a flat-out mistake. But back on the horse game and gliders, they go smoke. They just lost 6,000 gold. That's okay, not, not going to dissuade them. He's found the Doom Applied Disruption comes out to delay things, but I believe this Razor is done, though. Game and Gladiators with a huge kill. Now X Nova will follow suit. Question is, what can they get out of this? Roche, we won't know for the next minute when that spawn comes up. I mean, they obviously do have a lot of auras. And 40 seconds. They this can is... try to push. There's a I cliff. Mean, Quinn does go, d did go for the shard, by the way, so he's going to do a lot of damage to these right, towers. Can't wait to see him kill Luna with the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Just get those stacks up. We'll this tower it. is going to melt when this fortification goes down. 25 seconds of no razor. Arrow coming in. It's going to connect onto the Doom as Darachi pops the BKB, getting out the concoction as well. Going to focus everything on the Marana. She's dead just like that. that Still was three not... dead for G2IG, and Gaiman haven't really taken too much damage as the tower does fall. Does not kill a hero in the process. Now focusing on the range racks. Razor's back up, though, yeah, and Gaiman go. likely will reset. Thousand. The other tier two towers are up, though. Yeah. So Roche number two. Roshoff is about to occur. Razor showing mid. The rest of the team hunting. Though. All right. This could be a big kill. Arrow does hit. Already half HP is ace. Popping that shield is, but he is melting. So much damage coming from G2 IG, and eventually he does pop. Like a pinata. Does have his buyback, though. Do they keep going here? Yes. And his doom is back in 13 seconds. We might see the buyback come out as Tofu using the concussive grenade, but not able to get to the low ground as Monet will eventually clean him up. Takes a while. Has the double kill. The buyback did come. No BKB on Monet now as Gaiman looking for a potential fight. I think this is a pretty damn fast, but Dracia shows about out of nowhere, forcing the BKB out of nothing to say. The Doom's still available. Ace at half HP, though, as JT getting beat down by Dracia. will try to reset now that the static link is applied to him. So a soft back from Gaming Gladiators. Oh, they're going to get this in time. In fact, they're not. They're too late. So everything goes the way of They Gaiman might take the fight anyway. Pit. Potentially, the Aegis goes to Viper again. As Monet cutting them off from the other side. Quinn is going to be the one that breaks the smoke. There's a Solar Flare popped. Get the Burrow Strike on the bottom side. They delete the Sniper. Tofu just blown up. Arrow connected on the Alchemist onto the high ground. As Boboka getting in pretty deep, Quinn going to tank a lot of this damage. This is going to be life number one. It's not going to say already popped the BKB. And now they surround Quinn. And surely Gamer are going to try to fight here. It's JT going in with the Epicenter, and Quinn is just getting destroyed. No chance to even attack there. And even Celery follows suit. Duraccio has to hightail away with a TP. So in the end, they get the Aegis. So we got a Wind Waker sighting on JT. Yep. So even harder to kill. Did not actually is going for the Bloodstone next, but panel talked about the fact that against Doom. Oh, uh, good reaction from Rush. Okay. Lots of blinks out. Ace though stuck in a very precarious spot. Oh my goodness! The pause. That's the only hero. Let's okay, that would be very fitting actually. The Razor was doomed. Will run away as the pipe is starting to dissipate on the side of Game and Gladiators. Monet. Posturing a bit, and it looks like you might be right. You win the grand prize is that a, of nothing. Is that dinner? Oh, damn no, God, no. Never. You owe me a $100 dinner. Okay, they're going to group back up with this next wave. And we've seen it time and time again, Cinderin. Once this tower goes down, oh, the Quinn. just destroyed Oh, he just Quinn. got stunchin. He has no buyback. He's back. dead forever, it seems. No buyback at all. Duraccio has to pop the BKB in retreat. That literally might be game over with Luna in your base. I mean, surely it is. Nothing you have a, you have is a minute and no tier twos. I just triple checked mid. It's gone. <laughs> um, they don't even need to. They're go going there. for throne. Yeah, they're going to try to force these buybacks, which are not available at all. So just one lane of racks, and it might just be GG. Forcing this game three. Already the tier fours fall, and just the ancient is exposed now as Duraccio can only look on as he uses his nullifier for the first time in the game. And, and then dies. slowly dies in the sandstorm. And that is going to be the end of game two. My goodness, G2 IG really showing up after a pretty poor performance in game one. Yeah, they did what they needed to do. They avoided the critical timing of the first 25 minutes. They made sure to not bleed too many heroes when it matters the most. And I think he was banned in the second game. Yes. 
Shaker. 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 Make a comeback. Well, it's not the same as last game in terms of like being on a timer necessarily, because oh, X Nova taking a beating down bottom. Second soul assumption. Ooh, is enough. and that's extra gold if he took that facet. He did indeed take death toll. So All right. nice extra money there. Something like some they were talking about about the Lena. Uh, maybe that matchup really spoke to them with the Marcy combination as a lane. Um, what do I expect from him? I mean, he's probably just going to go... He's going to get the drums first, which is very standard. Ooh, to say instant all right. Echo. Yep, all right. Bows into, it's like, thanks for the blink dagger there. Echo yeah. Clan ends up resulting in the kill onto Tofu. Nothing to say with Enchant Totem. Oh my Doing goodness. a lot of damage to Quinn. He does have his zip. He's going to go on in, and Duracho making his rotation. Wow, they brought the As a position right one win runner, yeah. Really? Yeah, see, but man. Monet is the one getting ganked. He's going to spot them first. Shadow Poison gets the vision. Done. Disruption with the familiars nearby is going to be an easy cleanup. Death number three. Three Such a nice a. ink. That was really, really nice. Torrent. I turn to the old fashioned team fight as Celery looks like he's going to take a boat to the face. Soul Assumption doing a decent amount of damage against X No, but Celery's going to be able to die. <laughs> well done to him as Tofu might be next. Trying to apply as much pressure to Baboka as possible to end up going kill the way of Ace. So it's a two for two as X Nova continually takes Soul Assumptions over and over and over. As the oh, nice torrent. Might have familiars. Saved no, Soul Assumption from far away is a oh, no double way. kill TP attempt. Oh. But he will die. Wow, in the midst that was of it. so close. That resummon into double bird stun to Might try to TP her. out. Starting to mount some pressure here. They really want to put some pressure with this. Oh, oh nice the combo. arrow action. Disrupt. Again, but the disruption from Celery on the Echo? north side. Yep, Echo with the creep wave. That is a lot of damage. Quinn evaporates. Really heads up play there. They wanted to go and push this tower anyway because of the siege creep, so they bring in the inch with a satyr from the side and they find it. Uh, yeah, Monet is going to have a much better time getting back in this game now that he's got that maelstrom. Ace looking for a flank, but there nothing is to a say. nothing to say hiding. He's got his echo slam and he's going to use it onto two with the fissure to follow. Do they have enough damage to take on Visage? Yes! Ace is dead. Tofu next. Beautiful Baboka bait. Gets the double kill. Masterfully done. You really gotta say, like... Nothing geez. to say, though. Seems to be somewhat ready for this mid-aggression. There's the big zip. Oh, I don't know about this and one. The Orchid. Nothing to say. Looking for the Echo Slam. He gets it onto two with the Enchant Tone of the Vault. But there is the disruption to save one as Quinn now. Pretty low. He might have to back away. The big boat comes in. X Nova. Relatively low as well. But the Earthshaker is the first to fall oh. for G2IG. And JT looks to be next on the list as Game and Gladiators are winning this handily. X Nova slowed to a crawl. This is going to be likely the third kill if they can find him around the trees. Indeed, they do. Double kill for Celery. Of wow. All players. Okay, that was so close in so many ways. So the Echo Slam response there from Shaker is good, but the follow up isn't quite there. They get the very good disruption from Celery. Duraccio gets his BKB off that. Like the panel was talking about, they were hoping he would go Maelstrom BKB and then not immediately get the Gleipnir, and that's exactly what he did. Without BKB there, they lose this fight. And, nope, does he actually? Gets X, Arrow? Yeah, Arrow's actually gonna hit. It's a very long duration. LSA and he'll be able to again. Disruption comes out for the potential save. Fissure blocking this into two separate fights, it looks like. Oh, that's Monet a getting big focused win, This is so much damage from Duraccio. Whirlwind is going crazy. They get the Marana. Monet very low on the tree line. He will eventually be brought down as well. Two kills for Gaiman as JT limping away. Make it a third as X Nova's picked off. JT looks to be okay, but great fight from Gaiman Gladys. They are up 8K already. That was, I mean, the, and the Shadow Demon once again. This hero seems to have been really valuable in every game I've seen it in this tournament. Yeah, it has. I, I really think okay, that's to look out. Long zip from Quinn. Power shot from Duraccio from afar and the whirlwind to follow, but a nice fissure. The arrow's gonna connect onto Quinn, but a shackle shot connects onto two. Oh no! What a disaster for G2 IG. The Lena is lost. X Nova caught in no man's land. Cancellation of the TP there by Celery. This will lead to the second kill. They do get out with their Earthshaker. But man, that shackle shot was uh, quite something. That is about as long as that shackle can stretch, by the way. It's the, if there's like 15 more range between them, it doesn't connect, I think. Mm -hmm. So, Impressed. perfect. And Gleipnir. And they have control of the enemy outpost, which they're going to use right now to get the Gleipnir onto X Nova. Annoying target to kill, but they have the damage, no doubt oh, about yeah. it. More gold for Visage. 
Wait, do you get the ki if you get the kill with Soul Assumption or with Soul Assumption being cast recently? You have three seconds. Three seconds of a three seconds see. after it connects on the hero. I so as long as Visage yeah. just is oh, involved, quit. he's gonna get fissured. Arrow is coming. Oh, this looks like a kill. This is really big. Yeah, that's a huge for one. G2 IG. They that was need without even it. echoing, so they could still take a follow-up team fight now. Celery doesn't seem to be too scared. That's because he has the greaves, like he said. <laughs> At 23 minutes on a Shadow Demon. That's a really tough kill. Yeah, well, uh, Naracho, he finds a lone really little Baboka. Kill. So it ends up being a one-for-one one trade, but definite favor for G2 there. Naracho is so farmed. In the end, it's just the impact of his items. It's just uh -huh. so noticeable. Okay. Well, Quinn had to use his DKB. He's going to find a lonely Baboka. Arrow actually will hit. He's doing some decent damage as support. <laughs> and eventually will get that kill and okay. have to TP out. He has the gem on him as Roche now. And he chose the most boring vantage point to see the world. Doesn't feel like they've crossed the river in quite a while. Oh, this Tormentor! Oh, oh, right. oh, that would have been embarrassing. Oh, if that was BB team, the game would have ended. <laughs> they would have died two heroes and Gaiman would have pushed. Quinn finds JT. Ooh, the cancellation of the teleportation into the shackle shot. They don't really do that much damage to him because uh, Kanka's very tanky these days. Finally, some yeah. reinforcements. Tofu, okay, you can see the demonic purge onto JT, so no crimson or anything of that nature for him. Well, uh, Finally, we'll uh, drop as more heroes are just dropping like flies cool from G2 IG. What? what kind of a fight was that? that wasn't they get two buybacks, and now it's a three versus five, not including the Aegis. That was the DLC to Lemmings. Wow. They just that was so weird. <laughs> that was the weirdest fight. How does the game end like this? After all of that? Doesn't look like they're going to use for the tower. Maybe they concede these and try to go against the Megas. Duraccio, oh, he's going in with that. Agnum Scepter, invisible, gets a shackle shot onto the Earth Shaker. He's dead! No buyback for nothing to say. And Game and Gladiators just all of a sudden win this game. GG's called. All right. What a weird ending. My goodness. Yeah, all right. Game two, <laughs> it happened, and they moved on. And then they said, game one is what it's, that's more like it. That's how we want to yep. play. Yep.